Hi guys, this is Marcus here. I wanted to show you how can you, you can use Alexa or Google Home with Ift. So here's our setup. So we have either Google Home um, and an Echo. We use Ift for um, the triggers. And then we basically post uh, actions to Node Red, which is in Bluemix. And we have a, a device um, in the controller device via MQTT. In my case, I uh, use a Raspberry Pi slash computer, which then talks to a, a Bluetooth low energy candle here, yeah, the light, the play bulb. So here's what we need. Uh, we need a Bluemix account, obviously. We need a device connected to uh, what's an IoT platform. And um, I use the Node Red uh, IoT starter app. Then you need an IFT account, an Amazon account, and uh, an, an, an Echo or a Google Home. So, um, okay. Let me just, before we go there. So I have this little uh, light bulb here, which I can control via Bluetooth. So I can just set the color. And I created a recipe for how to do this, uh, which I linked to. So, <coughs> So I can just you know change the color here to green and so forth. So what I did then is I basically hooked this little program into the Watson IoT platform. So what happens is if we go here to the Watson IoT platform, we see here should see messages coming in from the candle every 10 seconds. So it basically just sends me the status of the candle. And uh, obviously I can also change the status of the candle. So I can say set it to red. Then it will receive the command and set the candle to red. I can make it blink. Same thing. It then sends it to blink so I can set it off. Okay, so I have control over the candle via a Raspberry Pi or in this case my computer. So what I wanted to do now is use if to do the same thing using Alexa. Um, so what we did is in in if you have this um, maker webhook. There's a maker channel you can subscribe to and then it gives you the ability to either trigger URLs or post to them and uh, and use them within uh, different services. So let me show you what that looks like. So in order to do this, all you have to do is you find the maker channel and you just subscribe to it or basically set it up. All you have to do is really just enable it and then you click on it and that's it. you have to find your Alexa account and you have to basically link this with your um, uh, Amazon account also straightforward so once you have that we can actually then create um, recipes so the recipes I created is here I say something like Alexa trigger candle red uh, Alexa Trigger candle green. Sending it to if. So it comes to if. So what happens is here is my message. It comes to if. And it also comes here to my little program. So here I see Alexa. Trigger candle red. Sending it to if. So you see I got the JSON message here. I orchestrated and then he receives it to send the candle to red. So here's my little flow. Alexa, trigger candle green. Sending it to it. And you see, and then Alexa, trigger candle off. Sending it to it. So it works quite well. So let's say we want to create a new one. So what we need to do is so we're going to use Alexa here. Of 
No, let's go. Let me just use fake Alexa. Let me go. Let's say. Blue. I don't have that yet. And uh, when you hear that phrase, then we post to my endpoint in node red via the maker channel. So here's a maker request. I give them a URL, I like post. Content type is text. And uh, here's my little JSON. Plug that in, set the color to blue. Create action. Finish. So what happens is now it should do this blue thing here. Okay. We go back to the PowerPoint real quick. So we waste event, post a node right, and then we trigger the thing. We set the, the phrase. And uh, we set that post, and that should do it. So let's see. Where's my browser? Alexa, trigger candle blue. Sending it to it. Bing. So we got the blue command. I deciphered here my little flow. And then my little gateway receives it and changes the color to uh, to blue of the candle. So that's pretty much it. Um, we did this. Here's a complete flow. So again, we use Alexa to raise an event in ift. Then ift posts an action to an endpoint in Node Red. In Node Red, then I trigger um, via the IoT platform. Uh, MQTT message my little gateway and then the gateway basically changes the color of the above. You can also try to do this vice versa like you know the other way around like from basically uh, shoot messages into if to trigger something from node red. The issue here is that there's a huge delay it's very kind of random but it can be anywhere between 5 to 40 minutes before you actually get a response so if you post something to your maker action then um, if it will take its time to actually post it process it meaning like you know if you want to send an sms or trigger like a light switch a vimo light switch that doesn't doesn't happen instance hence why i choose that right okay let me know if you have any questions um send me a tweet or an email or leave a comment and uh, I put this also I will put this as a developer works recipe up there as well okay hope you like it ciao